Home Depot Karen to recap. Home Depot Karen goes into a Home Depot, gets into an argument. She states the worker started arguing with her, calling her names. And this is what she records, how she responds. Hi. Okay, you need to leave, man. He's being rude. You're being no, rude. No, I'm not being rude. You need to leave. I'm you, buying you, something. No, you don't want any more customers. You need to leave. All my customers? You're not so customer I have my store. thousands of dollars I spend here back every day. No, leave. Leave. So then leave. give me my thousands of dollars. Leave. Give me my thousands of dollars. No, leave. Give me my thousands of dollars back. Leave. Then give me my thousands of dollars back. Out. Cool, you're getting fired. Uh, fired. Leave. Leave. I said, I'm not leaving. Call the cops. I've done nothing wrong. I'm trying to buy something. And he's like, I'm not discounting anything. I'm not selling you anything. Get out of my store. Like, pushing me out. Like, walking me out. Not touching me, but, like, pushing me basically out. And then I turn around and you're going to be rude. Go back to your country. This woman admits on her now deleted Instagram account she told a man to go back to his own country. Respect is earned, not given. Don't be rude. I'm working customer service. As I've said, Karen, if you're going to argue, you're not there to shop. You want to shop, you go in and you shop. These two workers are telling you to get out. You've already caused a problem. They don't have to sell anything to you. They don't have to allow you in their, their store. And if you want your thousands of dollars back, where's your fucking receipt? Why don't you go to the customer service counter? Better yet, call corporate. See how that works out for you. Tell them you want your thousands of dollars back. See how far it gets you. Deal with them. Do not deal with two workers making like 12 bucks an hour. That is the epitome of Karen dumb. <laughs> oh my God. And then she comes back. Home Depot Karen brags about it for clout. And she did it again. And this is a joke. This has to be a joke. Do you guys really not have any organic anything? This has to be a joke. Like, you guys must have known I was on live to, like, not have any organic produce. All the organic produce looks like literal shit. There's no organic... Cilantro, everything's soggy, wilted, the celery's falling apart. I know, but I'm just relaying it to you to relate to your boss that, you know, when people spend hundreds of dollars, they want to at least eat good quality food. Sorry, I just came off of like an eight and a half or power shift. I'm starving right now. I expected to get dinner, and I literally have four things in my cart and no dinner. Okay, no berries. Awesome. Cool. I guess I have to go food shopping somewhere else. Thank you. What an epic book in my this is what we got. Let's do an inventory list. We got black bean pasta. We see have dinner today. The only thing that doesn't have added is in it for dinner. Granola and kids get hungry the rest of the week since we got nothing else. We got bananas just to keep me by because I'm a motherfucking monkey. Yogurt? Don't worry. Go to another store then, Karen. Go to another store. Pick up your organic bullshit at a different store. This actually looks like um, Karen is trying to gain clout off of Karening. I don't know who she's supposed to be filming this for, seeing as how her TikTok has been deleted. And um, I don't see how any other platform is going to pick up or support her. After the go back to your own country Home Depot fiasco, it looks like she is trying to 
make a career out of being a Karen. And that shit's got to stop. Uh, I guess if she's not already making any money off of it, I mean, how could she? She's got no TikTok. Um, probably has no YouTube anymore. I mean, if she wants to uh, make a new career out of caring for views and caring for money, you know, there's Karens everywhere. We hate Karens. Everybody hates Karens. There's 50 billion Karens out there that still need to be dealt with in this world. Uh, none of them actually try to do it for clout and for internet points. And that's what it seems like. It seems that this is what this Karen is trying to do. And I don't know how it's going to work out for her. I mean, you need a platform for that. You need to... You need to actually, you know, not be a Karen to gain the clout. You have to not be a Karen to uh, become a popular person, I guess. And there's, you know, I can actually say through experience there are far better Karens out there than she is. Um, there's always a worse Karen out there. People don't like it. <laughs> and that's why you got kicked off of TikTok. It's, it's just weird. I don't know. I don't know what to say about this woman. I don't know what her point is in continuing to Karen for a world that has already rejected her. It's just strange. I mean... She's going to double down on this. Does she want her TikTok back? I, I don't get what the thing is. Hunter Biden is comprised. Comprised of what, Bobo? She made part of How to Fuck with Brazil. Also, she's ugly as hell. She looks like Blanche from the Golden Girls. Okay, yes, we know the quarter pounder thing. Starbucks is taking its union busting to an unprecedented level. A South Carolina store manager is pressing kidnapping and assault charges against unionized workers after they had a store meeting where they presented a list of demands. So Starbucks has suspended all of the workers.
I don't know. I really, really hope that businesses like Starbucks are starting to get upset. They're starting to get scared. Sounds like this guy is, well, of course, they're looking for any reason to get rid of these people once they start to unionize or they start to fight back. This just takes this bullshit to a whole different level. I'm pretty sure it's all going to get thrown out. They should sue him for this. Don't just unionize. Fight back legally against this type of bullshit. You know, making false accusations, filing false police reports, all that shit. That's supposed to be illegal, remember? How simpler could it be? You unionized. You gave a list of demands. I'm being held hostage and you're all fired. Fucking sue them for this. Americans came just three votes short of the 60 needed to cap insulin at 35 bucks. All it took was three more Republicans with some goodness in their hearts to help the seven plus million Americans who need insulin, but none could be found. What a damning indictment of the GOP, Big Pharma-owned shills. Yes, every Republican voted once again to reject capping the price of insulin for Americans at 35 bucks a month. Oh yeah, Donald Trump is living proof that a con man doesn't have to be smart if his victims are stupid enough. It's amazing how many people don't realize this. I've bitched about people scheming, manipulative pieces of shit, thinking they're something brilliant. I've had to actually explain to people they're dumb as a pile of fucking rocks. They get the idea they're brilliant because they can easily manipulate dumb people like you. You're fucking dumb enough to believe them. Banning abortion and allowing insulin price gouging? That's a bold move, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off. Rather than working to find a cure for biocancer, investor entrepreneur and biotech CEO Vivek Ramaswamy is fighting the cultural cancer of wokeism in corporate America. What wokeism in corporate America? told you I could get the GOP to say my package was too big. GOP block bill to protect interstate travel for abortion. GOP senators kill 35 cap on insulin. GOP blocks veterans health care bill. They still think we give a fuck about them. Oh, and then there's this. So drop boxes are not good for elections, but they're okay for live babies. Fuck you, Republicans. No, seriously, fuck you. They have unwanted baby drop-offs in a particular state now. I think it's just the one state so far. It's like a goddamn blockbuster film return box. You open a box and slip in the baby. First of all, at least in my state, uh, in my state, you're supposed to already have the right to leave an unwanted child in certain uh, state and government buildings, no questions asked. 
You can leave them at a fire department, at a police department, uh, at a post office, uh, at a town hall, um, if they are unwanted, to ensure that the child is somewhere safe if you are going to abandon it. And they have these baby drop boxes. Safe Haven Baby Drop-Off. Please do not open door unless you are in need of services. I can picture that shit too. People will be opening that shit to dump their big gulps down. They'll be opening that shit to, to hide guns and fucking garbage. The drop box for the unwanted babies they force you to birth. Utah-based company ripped out their Made in China tags to replace them with Made in USA. The apparel company known for inflammatory apparel championing the Second Amendment and Donald Trump has been fined over 200 grand after the FTC found the company falsely claimed its imported apparel is made in the U.S. Lions not sheep and its owner, Sean Whalen, were slapped with a $211,335 fine last week after the FTC found the company removed Made in China tags, replacing them with Made in the USA labels. According to the FTC, the company added phony Made in USA labels to clothing imported from China and other countries. The FTC did not identify the other countries. Kardashians holding white balls for the first time. Most mass shooters look like Macaulay Culkin. Why there are only two states that never had a mass shooting. Mitch McConnell banning abortion in Kentucky. Mitch McConnell helping flood victims in Kentucky. Oh my God. Some crazy shit. I don't know, folks. This is about as mega as you can get. <laughs> Capitalism in a nutshell, selling you things without which you will literally die. Yeah, yeah, we get that part. Rainwater is no longer safe to drink anywhere on earth, scientists say. Thank you, capitalism. A photo of the CPAC stage. Feels like we shouldn't gloss over the fact that CPAC put a massive banner over their stage that said, we are all domestic terrorists. Well, it is true. I 
I mean, I know they put that up as a joke, but pretty much is true. Every $100 increase in median rent is associated with a 9% increase in estimated homeless rate, according to the 2020 report by the U.S. Government Accountability Office. America is fucked with no recourse. <laughs> oh my God. That's it. I'll be back, and then we will discuss this guy who shot a couple of robbers as they were dying, and then bragged about it on Reddit's AMA.